I'm Dana. And I'm Hunter. And we're from TheBrokeAssBride.com. Where we're using creativity as currency. To rock a badass wedding without, without breaking, breaking the, the bank. bank. And today we are going to make some very easy peasy centerpieces using fruits and vegetables that you can find in the grocery store, at the farmer's market. In your garden. Anywhere for very cheap. So what you're going to need is um, a, a container of some kind. You can use um, a wooden crate, a wine box, a shoe box. You can use a lunch box. You can use a vase. You can use anything you want. And you can decorate it, right? Yep. You can use newspaper, decoupage, comic books. I would do that. Anything you want. Anything that goes with your theme. So don't be afraid. Just be creative. Once you have your box picked out, get some fruit and vegetables that please your eye. All right. So we have an artichoke because I love artichokes. We have a pomegranate because they're beautiful. They're and good for the heart. And they're good for the heart. Yeah, yeah. We have a couple of lemons, which are good for my Greek sensibilities. And we have an apple because who doesn't like apples? They're American. An apple a day keeps somebody away. Keeps your expensive wedding away. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have kale um, that we got just to lay a bed underneath the vegetables. So that's how we'll start. I like kale because it's really hearty, it's strong, it's not going to wilt and start like falling apart while you're having your fancy event. Some people don't like to eat kale because it's so tough, but that works out pretty darn well when you're decorating with it. Kale is really good for you though, so if it's tough, just cook it and eat it. That's what I say. It's full of iron. So once you have a nice little bed created, then just figure out how you want to lay your vegetables and your fruits around the box to make it look the best. And this is really just all up to you. It's very subjective. I'll put that there. Yeah. I don't even know if we need the apple in this one, actually. But it needs a little kale to lift up the lemons because these are smaller. And you can also do it if you want it to feel like Roman, like, like an abundant array of fruits and vegetables. You can pack in a lot of kale or whatever your bedding is going to be so that it kind of spills out around the vegetables and creates a really nice bedding like this. Smoosh it in there, just smoosh. And let's see. You want to check it from all angles because if it's on a center piece of a table, then people are going to be looking at it from all angles. That's and pretty much it. It's like the easiest, fastest, cheapest centerpiece you can make. And it's really, really wonderful for a summertime wedding, outdoors. You don't have to worry about cut flowers wilting. You can give them to people to take home and eat after, so it's really economical and eco-friendly. And it's um, something that's only like restricted by the limits of your imagination. <laughs> so, go to the grocery store and see what's pops out at you and then make yourself a box full of goodness and show everybody how creative you are. And perhaps you'll have some leftovers. <laughs> From the Broke Ass Bride, I'm Dana. I'm Hunter. And if you have any requests or you want to share an idea of your own, send them in to us at requests at mahalo.com. Or hit us up on Twitter or Facebook and join the conversation. We'll see you next time. Happy shopping. Enjoy.